Are you thinking of moving to Spain, but aren't sure which kind of visa or work permit you need to have? Well then watch this video. In the following video, we'll be highlighting 9 tips for moving to Spain. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all our content. I'm Marvin Cruz with Los Sales Group, and as I mentioned before, in this video, we'll be highlighting 9 different tips to get you started on your journey when moving to Spain. Step 1. Our first tip on our guide to move to Spain is assess your situation. Because there are many different visas and work permits that may be available, your first step should be able to assess which kind of visa or which kind of work permit is the one that's right for you. For example, they may be different when you're an EU citizen than when you're a non-EU citizen. So it's very important for this process for you to identify which visas or which work permits are the ones that are correct for you. Step two in this process would be to assess your situation and understand the process that you'll be entailing. You'll have to contact the Spanish consulate, which will tell you what documentation you'll need. Once you're received with the documentation that you're going to need, make sure you recompile all the documents and everything else that you'll need in order to present your request for a visa. After you present your request for this visa, the consulate will have three months to either accept or reject your request. If accepted, you'll receive a stamp on your passport and you'll have one month to travel to Spain. Once you've successfully traveled to Spain, you'll have to take your fingerprints and then you'll receive your physical card. A lot of expats who are looking to move to Spain also want to work. It is important to know that not all visas allow for a work permit. Some of which that do allow this are the Golden Visa and the EU Family Member. We advise you to obtain a work contract from your country of origin and also know that not all job offers are eligible for a work visa. These must be included in the shortage occupation list. If you're not looking to work when you move to Spain, one of the visas that has an easier requirement list is the non-lucrative visa. For this one, you'll only need a medical insurance and to be able to prove that you have sufficient economical funds. Once your visa has been approved and you are actually here in Spain, the first step you'll need to do is to complete your NIA. Your NIA, as a difference to the TIA, refers to the actual identification number for expats. The TIA is the actual physical card. This will allow you to make purchase of properties, open a bank account, among other things. Tip number six. Each visa will require you to submit a specific amount of documents. Some of the most requested documents are a criminal background check of the countries you've lived in in the past five years. Documents to show your sufficient economical funds to be able to support yourself here in Spain, health insurance, and also a passport along with a full copy of your passport and two color photos. Tip number seven. One very crucial point to remember is that all documentation that you submit must be in Spanish. If some documentation that you have is not in the Spanish language, you will first have to have it translated and then officially legalized in order to present that. Tip number eight. Bringing your family. During some visas, you will have the option of including your family, your closest family members, in the initial visa application process. If this is not the case, you'll also have another option. Once you've been in Spain for a year and you've been able to enjoy your visa, you will be able to have the option to bring your family with a family reunification visa. Tip number nine, trust reliable immigration lawyers. We believe that this is one of the most important tips. As you can see, immigration process in Spain tends to be a bit hard. The best thing you can do is to trust reliable immigration lawyers who have helped hundreds of people in your same situation. This will actually save you a lot of time and any headaches in the future in case you're missing some kind of document or aren't sure how to proceed with submitting an application. Getting an immigration lawyer is the most important step as this will help you facilitate the process and make everything a lot smoother. Remember that our team of lawyers here in Barcelos is always ready to help you out with all your legal needs. We've left our email info at barcelosgroup.com for you to ask us any questions, and feel free to do so whenever you want. We also have the comment section in which you can leave a comment and ask us any questions. Feel free to like and subscribe to our video for more of our content.